All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my time at Sandrock, where today we are back here at our lovely workshop, though sadly still one day away from the mystery man's arrival. I was hoping to get some more time off camera to maybe play through uh, this day today here on my own, uh, but sadly I ended up being much more busy than I was thinking. Granted, we still might not have been able to, of course, if there's any new things outside, we would not have anyways, because I would have wanted to bring you guys along. And yes, okay, cool, so even if I would have had a time, we would not have been able to. Looks like we have two blue bubbles on the map. I'm assuming this one's probably another Elsie Story thing in the Blue Moon Saloon. And this one's over at Amira, so that's probably the continuation of what's been going on with RVO. Both are probably just story beats, though. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps we plow through the day today and then sleep super early to get to the uh, the mystery man, as I really want those dang chilies. Also, hey, what? What's new in the calendar? Huh? I'm not seeing anything with the usual new label here. Is it like in another month or so? Huh. No idea. <laughs> Something's new, but I don't know what. Got it. Fair. Alright, well, let's just head outside and do the uh, daily routine, then head over to those two, I assume, purely story beat things, and then, yeah, probably power through to the next day, because I really do want those dang chilies. Boy, I do hope he has them on him. I mean, he should. It says in the wiki he sells them, so... <laughs> oh, he better. <laughs> With my luck, I'm still going to have to grow them. It's going to be 8 to 11 days. But let's grab our stuff. Actually, let's read our mail first. We got a blue mark on there. Hey, from RV, probably telling me to go over to a mirror shop. Okay, it's been quite a ride for my sister and I, and things are getting better every day. We finally have a night off and would like to invite you to dinner. Our businesses wouldn't have taken off like they have without your help. Would you come to the Blue Moon Saloon at 7 p.m. the day after tomorrow? We will wait for you there. Huh, well, that's a new one. Usually it's tomorrow, but now we have the day after tomorrow. Interesting. Oh boy, am I going to remember that? Please add it to the calendar. Please add it to the calendar. Did it add it to the calendar? Yes. <laughs> I had to think for a moment because I have these. I have these over here, so I thought that was that for a moment, but no. Oh, thank God. Head to the saloon at six. Okay. Good. Good. I was also wondering before it got to the day after tomorrow part if that would have had anything to do with the two blue, uh, blue circles we've got right now, but no, but no. Interesting. All right, we're gonna have a dinner with Amira and uh, Arvio. Well, that should be fun. I'm intrigued to see how that goes. Not a lot of new things there, but plenty to use. So let's uh, pop in some stuff. Let's get all the wood in here. There we go. Add more copper into here. I've got more to add too. Do we have any more plastic to add in? It would not appear to be the case. Just mechanical and rubber, which we'll add over to here. Man, now that we finally caught up on things, I now have too many recyclers. For ages, we didn't have enough, but I finally caught up with all of our scrap. <laughs> Yay! Oh, uh, that is wonderful. How are you doing over here? I need to add more things. The ore refiner. Uh, yeah, just you again for more of these. Got it, got it, got it. Good. All right, let's make ourselves some water and then head on out. What do we got this time? Nice. So, yeah, looks like every day we're getting about 16 barrels of water, which is good. So we are definitely making a good amount. I'm not sure if it's more than what we're using at the moment, but let's actually check the... Wait for it. Helper box. Ooh, this is growing. So we actually are now making more than we're using. Noise. Noise. What are they actually doing right now? Yeah, that's one thing that kind of bothers me with the robot. They don't refill them until they're at empty. So I've noticed it off camera. I'll get a warning uh, on my screen going, oh, uh, you know, fire generator is out of fuel. And then I'll be like, ah, son of a... So there's like a brief moment where all my machines stop before uh, the robot 
actually puts in fuel. I wish they'd just keep topping it up. That would be great. But, oh uh, well, that's not the case. Also, uh, robot. Hi, let's get some... There we go. There we go. And I think last time I did a power stone, so back to the pet management ship. Nice. Gotta keep getting my relationship up with you so that we get a cheaper... Uh, a cheaper fee in the next month. Because, actually, when does that pop? The new went away. The new went away. What was new? I don't know. <laughs> oh, looks like I'm assuming that unless it's her birthday. No, yeah. Magic Mirror contract expired on the same day as Amira's birthday. Got it, got it, got it. All right. So if we can become at least the next level of friend with her before that happens, that'd be great. Because then we get a discount. So we're still an acquaintance right now. Oh, God. We got to be friends first. Uh, that's that. That's that star, right? Well, I mean, we can look up at our other people. Yeah, associate is the second star. I think third is buddy. Yeah, crap. And then, yeah, more than that is friends. So we gotta get up to four stars before we get a freaking discount. Aw, oh, man. Well, that's not happening. That is not happening in the slightest. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> Why couldn't it have been Buddy first, at the very least? Uh, Alright, let's roll. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the blue bubbles. Uh, I'm annoyed by that now. I was hoping maybe we could get it there by the time uh, we got to that point. But no, we're not going to get up to, what was it, four or five stars? Oh, boy. Alright, let's check out whatever thing is in here. I'm guessing another, like I said, Elsie story beat moment. So let's check well, that out. Yep. This bag uses yak milk fur and yak milk feces. When you use it, it gives off a scent similar to a male yak milk. Uh huh? Next time, just keep a little bag on your body, and wild yak milk will keep right away. Okay, interesting. But I mean, if it's a scent similar to a male yak milk, what if it's the wrong time of year? The female yak milks might be into it. <laughs> also, oh, and you're in the way. But there's a limit to what they'll do, so don't go poking around in their faces. They're still gonna boot you. Yeah, I just stab him then. I know. <laughs> Ain't never gonna try to anger one again. I tried to take a picture. It was all fine until the click. I literally saw its eyes change color. Really now? I mean, come on, it's a Yakima. I beat those all the time. They're not hard to kill. Yeah, flashing lights and sounds will get them going crazy. You're lucky to be on Hertz. Yeah, we broke our own speed records for sure when we were running away. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Next time, try giving a call like a rocket rooster. A quick squawk, and it'll cause them to disengage. Ever notice how the Yakmel keep their distance from the birds? You know, you say that, and yet over by my workshop, there's a place where they run into each other all the time. So they definitely do not. <laughs> they do not keep their distance. <laughs> well, let me try again. Squawk! Not squark, right? squawk. No, it's squawk, not squark. Keep trying. If you run into more issues out there, come and find me. And see, this is another reason why I wish every game would pause during cutscenes, even in game ones. It was so great, you know, and like, uh, like Fallout 3 and New Vegas, etc., where it would pause the world. I hate it in games like this or, you know, Skyrim. It, actually, no, Skyrim does pause too, doesn't it? Uh, but like Fallout 4, it doesn't pause, and so people walk right into the scene or push you away. Pause the world so this doesn't happen! <laughs> why? Why do people not pause the world when cutscenes are a thing? Alright, I'm going to talk to you again, Elsie. Hi, do you have anything new to say? Or is it going to be the same thing as last time? Ranch is boring today. Uh-huh. Hey, got any bread ideas? What kind of fun is going on around here? Didn't you say you were going to be good, Elsie? I mean, at least it is different from what she has been saying, though, so that's good. So we got the same thing two days in a row with her, with the chat. Uh, I kind of want to fight her, see if she's gotten better. Granted, we never fought her in the first place. But I kind of want to spar with her. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's spar, Elsie. Let's see what you've learned out in the wilderness. Again, granted, I have no, I have no baseline to, uh, you know, compare against. Oh, the doctor's also doing his thing. Oh, sweet. I'm glad we're here now. <laughs> we can do the experiment. Maybe help out, uh, maybe help out Splat. Oh, no, oh, boy. So she's with the daggers too, huh? Well, too bad. I'm better. 
There we go. Oh, Elsie, how did you survive out in the wilderness? <laughs> how did you survive all that time out there? Oh, we went right back here, huh? Okay, well, over to the clinic. At least we solved that, so that's good. Yeah, I beat her, like, super quick. I think my Anne's tougher than her. I'm pretty sure we've sparred with my Anna a couple of times. Or at least once. I'm pretty confident in that fact. Yeah, Elsie, how in the hell did you survive out there? It makes it even less believable. <laughs> Still can't shoot that balloon up there, and that annoys me. One day, one day I'll get you. <laughs> hey, Doc. What you got? Let's do this thing. Which one today? Let's go with you. It worked. It worked. What do uh -huh. you know? You won't be affected by paralysis. Dang it, that's not the one I need. I mean, neat though, but that's not what I needed. Oh, man. All right, up to a mirror shop. This one's got our gun back out. I want to get that thing. I want to get that thing. You know, have we tried it since... Did we try it since this building got taller? I don't know if we have or not. Have we... I kind of vaguely remember us. Also, who's home with this? Can't go in. All right, got it. Huh. I'm on. Huh. Huh. No, no, no. Can't get there. All right, go around the, the side. I want that dang thing. Huh. Damn it! <laughs> I can hit that, but I think I gotta shoot that thing, but I can't! Why? Oh, man, she's her other gun. I don't know, maybe the other gun's different. No, no, no. How the hell? <laughs> I'm never gonna get that thing down. Oh, uh, also. Sandrock stockpile. Nope, can't get in there. Hmm. All right, let's go over to Amira's and check out what's going on there. And then, yeah, probably just go to bed super early <laughs> to get to the mystery man. Oh, hi, Matilda. How are you? All right, let's see what's what. Come on, Amira. You've managed to improve delivery, right? Uh huh. I can send things to Atara. I really want to send a souvenir to my sister back home. Interesting. I was figuring Arvio was going to be here, but I'm actually more intrigued now to find out here in a second if Arvio's convinced Amira yet, because I'm guessing Ernest is, you know, interested about the shipping thing that Arvio was wanting to do. Let's find out. Usually, you need to order in advance, but luckily, I've just finished firing a kiln. Wait a moment. I'll bring out a few and you can choose what you think she'd like. Dang, that's uh, not, not what I was hoping for. I was hoping it'd be a more of a ship to who now with the what? Weird. Hmm. <laughs> oh, well. Ooh, fancy. Oh, man, those are our fanciest pieces yet. Neat. Wow, Amira. These are beautiful. I think these days you're just as good as some of the artists from Walnut Groove. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. She's a real artisan. Come on. You make me sound far too proficient. I'm still learning every day. There's a lot I need to improve on. Also, those are far too large to go into the kiln that I built you. <laughs> that one probably would, but these two, far too tall for the kiln that I built you. Nonsense. They're right. You're a real artist. Tell you what, take it as a sign of support from a fellow artist. I'll buy all of these and send them to Atara. Dang, nice, Ernest. Wait, weren't you... Weren't you cut off from your, you know, rich family? Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Ernest. These ceramics are limited to one piece per customer. Amira, shut it! Just take, take it! Take it! He's offering to buy them all! Who else, who else in this town is gonna buy them? I'm the only other one with money. What? Um... May I ask why? Yeah. Well, it was actually Arvio's idea. What? Apparently, intricate ceramics such as mine are best sold in small quantities. He said mass production would diminish the value. What? It's literally the thing he's trying to figure out how to do for you right now. This doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> uh, he's literally trying to also uh, th just allowing them to buy all the pieces doesn't mean mass production just means someone really wants to buy your crap Amira this makes zero sense 
<laughs> and also, it's still small quantity. Three ain't three is not mass production. It is still small quantities. Oh, RVO's dumb, and it doesn't even fit with what RVO's trying to do right now, so this makes even less sense. He called it limited run sales. He said he found it in an old world market book. Uh Honestly, I really don't get the specifics. But I think a piece should be special and unique to the person. I do believe something is lost when an artistic work is replicated. I mean, that's fair, but that's not what's going on here. Someone sees your art, appreciates it, and wants to buy it to send it back home to his rich folk. <laughs> and none of this makes sense right now, Amira. None of it. It seems that RVO's recent awakening has benefited both your livelihoods. Has it, though? Well, since I can only buy one, let me see. This one with Twilight and Sandrock painted on it. It's remarkable. The shining of the moon. My sister will love it. This is also for, again, with RVO's strategy here is uh, even more dumb because yeah his family's rich him sending these home f to them would mean potentially more sales for you fools both of you you and your brother are fools certainly i'll pack this up and send it to your address in atara fantastic thank you so much ah uh, i almost forgot here's your gift too hey, thank you for helping us i'll never forget all you've done okay i got a gift huh Ooh, the vase Nifty. Well, all right. Oh, wait. I should buy some clay while I'm here. Yeah, that whole thing made no freaking sense. <laughs> and Ernest saying that RVO having like, uh, you know, oh, yeah, that, you know, uh, really helping with all that research RVO has been doing. No, no. Everything that just happened there was dumb. <laughs> sure, limited release sales can be beneficial for certain things, but usually something that's, you know, planned out in advance from, you know, a specific artist or for a specific medium, uh, things like that. But for just her shop and also for the need for them to get their name out there more, that was dumb. And that whole thing about mass production small quantities, lady, you only made three. That's still small quantity. That ain't mass production. <laughs> oh, it bothers me. Okay. All right. Let's go pick up all of her things. Then we're gonna go to bed. I know it's 10 in the morning, but I don't care. I want I want it to be Mystery Man Day. Besides, the only thing I would have done for the rest of the day anyways is just be commissions and mining. So, let's find out what'll happen tomorrow. I can go one day without commissions. I'm still, like, around 3,000 uh, points ahead of all the other builders in my reputation. So, yeah. <laughs> Magnificent! Yep, see, there's the thing I was talking about before. The f fuel going out, and the mystery man appeared. Heck yeah, let's go find him. I guess check our mail first, though. Uh, okay, uh, for some reason I thought for a moment it was about to be a cutscene, but no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ooh, another blue thing in the mail. From Amira! Thank you for helping Arvio. He's really changed so much. I've never seen him this motivated. I mean, he's still dumb though with business before he'd have all these ideas but this is the first time i've experienced him approaching something with a mature and thought out approach he went to the library looked up information on pottery then analyzed and tried to really understand how to apply it still didn't apply it well from what i just saw a moment ago but okay i've never seen him go to a library at all <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Let alone sit down and try to solve problems the way he has. I heard you helped him make both of the machines. I really appreciate the help. I mean, who else would have in this town? Sure, my aunt is here, and technically there's the other builders, but they don't do anything. <laughs> okay, nifty. Well, might as well grab all that still. Wait, what? Where's the robot? Because everything has actually paused because it's out of fuel. Aw, oh, son of a what? <laughs> All right, I'll do it myself manually. The hell? Okay, that probably means there's a story beat for the robot somewhere. And that's why they're not here right now. Because, yeah, they should have filled everything up. What the hell? Oh, God. All right, I'm going to put all the stuff in here. Uh... Oh. All right. I mean, I know we gotta go just find the mystery man, but I need to. I, I, if I don't take care of these things, it will bother me. <laughs> it needs to be done. It needs to be done. There we go. We'll put them all into each different machine since we have so many. 
There we are. There we are. There we are. Lovely. Mystery man, where are you? Also, holy crap, three blues. All right. <laughs> All right, we got another. That's an LC thing for sure. That's going to be an RVO thing. And that's part-time rancher work. Nope, nope, nope. Where's the mystery man, though? We normally see him on the map, don't we? Crap. Where is he? Oh, man, we're going to have to find him ourselves. Oh, there you are! Where have you been? There was work to be done. Where have you been? Do you have a home? I always just thought she lived in the yard. Huh. All right, let's go find the mystery man. <laughs> I guess, yeah, normally I do my little spiel for at least a minute or two, uh, you know, inside the home before we start everything. Oh, there he is. There he is. I was looking. Yeah, I was looking for like a, a picture like this, like with my Anne. I forgot that it's that. But yeah, normally I'm in my house for at least a minute or two doing my little intro spiel. So I guess that's probably why the robot hadn't got there yet. But fair enough, I still had to do their work for him. Hi, Mystery Man. First off, hi. Yes, yes. I buy as well as sell, but uh -huh. nothing common, please. Uh huh. A... Yeah, I don't care. I think we've talked about that before. I need chilies. All of them. Buy all of them. There we go. Yeah, I'm glad we have the Psy Peppers now that we found last time. But, uh, anything else we want to purchase from him? Large door! What? Holy mother of crap, what? Placed on top of a smaller one to, pl to replace it, the smaller box will return to your backpack. I got the cash. Oh my god, how have I never seen those before with him? Oh, hey, also you! I don't care. <laughs> I have the money, but I don't really care about the weather forecasting chip. I don't see why it would have any use or value to us in the slightest. I mean, I guess you could check it to see if, you know, a sandstorm is coming. So then you could remember to turn on your, uh, your wall if you have it. But I just leave it on all the time anyways because I like the compound look. So this has zero use for me in, at all. I... Goodbye, meatball. <laughs> to get rid of your pet. Oh my god, amazing. Uh, all right, yeah, we're we're. Hmm. Any lover who receives will be happy to call you by a new nickname. Does Maya even have a nickname for us? I have no idea, and honestly, I don't care. <laughs> I'm out. Okay, well, we got the stuff for the chili. Yay. We'll do that tomorrow. I'll probably make the things off camera today, but. Yeah, we'll actually do the goat thing tomorrow. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go up and get this other Elsie thing. Heck yeah. And... Pop. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be more Elsie story here. It would make sense. Stand yep. Now, Elsie. I'm worried you'll spill some... Oh, uh, what? Are uh, you using the duck to transport things somewhere? Don't worry, Ma. I just got to tell Daisy what to do, and she'll get to it. She's real good at it. She'll fly it over to a surrounding village in no time. Oh, neat. How wonderful. So, can she bring it all the way to another city-state for us, too? That might be a bit too far. I don't know. They ain't a migrating bird, so they ain't built to fly those kinds of distances, Ma. But she can take you on a ride somewhere if you like. Neat. Oh, with my old bones? <laughs> no, dear. I'm just happy to be down here with you. Fair, fair. Neat. Yep, just a simple little story beat. Got it. Okay, over to the other one. We've got another blue over at RVO shop. And see how that goes. Nifty. All right. You know, I am kind of intrigued by that cake from the Mystery Man, though. I don't think my Anne's ever given us a nickname. And I honestly... Hmm. Yeah, I can't think of if she's called us anything but, you know our name in stuff. Eh, yeah. Nah, worth a waste of money. I don't care. <laughs> I thought about it a little bit more in my head and went, nah. All right, Arvio. Mr. Arvio, what's the meaning of all this? Suddenly, Sandrock is full of 
expertly crafted enamel colored ceramics. Darn right, because we've been improving things ever since, you know, you insulted Amira's stuff long ago. So, shall I put you down for a dozen? Two? Oh, so now you're wanting to sell a lot of them, Arvio. What the hell happened to the thing with Amira yesterday? <laughs> There's no consistency. Hmm. First, I must have a bit more information. Where did you get these? My goodness, the patterns. They're exquisite. I could sell these for a pretty penny over in Walnut Groove. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why don't you take a guess? Get it right, and maybe I'll give you a discount. Well, that's not sound business. Is that so? You there, Bill. What up? Trying to sneak up on me again, eh? Not at all. Surely you know something on this matter. Give me a hint, why don't you? <sighs> Must have been a delicate touch. <laughs> hey, careful not to give away the stickball game. They play stickball here? A delicate touch, eh? Then it must be none other than Miss Amira. Good, good. Very exquisite indeed. Mm -hmm. And look who it is. Hi, Amira. How was your walk, dear sister? Fine. So? Miss Amira, there you are. It's me, your old pal, the mysterious man. Uh -huh. Did you miss me? I doubt it. No. Ha! Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I must say I was just here admiring your new products and fine stuff. Very fine indeed. You really showed me. Darn right. I was just discussing with your brother here about getting a discount on some of these goods. I'll start taking a few of these artworks down to Walnut Groove every month. And soon, we'll all just be a little bit richer. Sounds good, doesn't it? I have a feeling when I click to the next thing with Amira's response, it's going to be something real dumb. Amira, don't you screw this up. I know you're not happy with this man after what he said to you previously, but he even just said you proved him wrong. Let it go. Let him buy the things. You guys need money. But let's see if what, what I think Amira's going to say is what she's going to say. No deal. I called it. <laughs> Amira, you idiot. What? Yeah. My sales have been fine lately. Thanks. Damn it, Amira, I swear to God. Aha, look, uh, perhaps I was a bit harsh before. It was cruel to suggest your popularity here has been due to your appearance. Mm -hmm. Clearly, I was wrong, mm -hmm. but don't let your pride get in the way of us all making money, I beg of you. Yeah, yeah, Amira. Also, do it for your dumbass brother. He finally did something good and helped you with getting all the stuff ready for this exact moment. Okay, then. Just one question. If you really didn't have any confidence in my skills, why bother to sell us the diagram for such a reasonable price? You know, that's a fair point. But, I mean, that actually should make you want to sell it to him more because he obviously, perhaps, you know, wanted to be proven wrong and give you the opportunity. Oh, was it the mysterious man's plan all along to get my sister worked up enough to have an artistic breakthrough? Intriguing! Or did he just genuinely believe her work was bad before? I, I, would, I would say the first, because otherwise why would he take potentially a loss on the plan? The mysterious man works in mysterious ways. Okay, that's... Uh, no, stop that. Full <laughs> price, no discount. We can start with a dozen for now. Final offer. Take it or leave it. Yeah, another reason why I go back to what I was saying before. Pause the world around us when we're in a cutscene like this. It just takes you so much out of it. Uh, I mean, hey, she's still going to sell it to him. The offer is acceptable and most generous. Thank you, Miss Amira. You shan't regret this. Mm-hmm. Miss Amira, Mr. Arvio, I am a man of my word. I'm off to Walnut Groove, as promised. I'm glad we were able to come to an agreement. And congratulations on your newly realized skills, Miss Indeed. Amira. Good luck out there. See you next month. Yay! Whoa, what a sale! You were bad to the bone, Hemi. A hot and pro like that and you had him eating out of your hand. This calls for a celebration. To the blue moon! I mean, we do have that dinner later, but... Oh, wait, no, that's tomorrow, isn't it? I don't know. Isn't it a little early to be celebrating? It is, like, maybe 10 in the morning. Ah, oh, but of course. You are indeed a wonderful benefactor. Darn right. Builder, investor, potter, 
Is there anything you can't do? No. Hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, never mind, except for farming. <laughs> I avoid that like the plague. I bought this game to be a builder, not a farmer. I actually wasn't bluffing back there. Sales have been quite good since you built the new kiln. Here's the 2,000 goals you lent us. Thank you for being patient. Yeah, I'm taking it back. That'd be great. Thank you. Hope we can count on you again if we ever run out of cash again. Maybe. I haven't cared for the feeling of owing money. Frankly, this is a weight off my shoulders. Let's not go into debt again. Well, with your new pottery business improving, hopefully you won't. Uh, all right. We can try it your way. <laughs> Arvio. Once again, I'd like to relay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thanks again. You have our eternal gratitude. 10,000 blessings. Yada, yada, yada. I think we've expressed our appreciation enough, Ham. Arvio. Shut it. Hmm. All right. See you later. Bye-bye. All right, and that's a good place to end. Oh, I'm glad we did get a resolution to that whole thing. I've been waiting to see when the uh, Mystery Man returned if that would be the case. So I'm glad we did get all that stuff done with them. Prior to that, that is pretty wonderful. They're going to start making some more money good times. But yes, hopefully you all have enjoyed this one today. In the next episode, we will, uh, yeah, I'll get all the stuff done for the goat mission. And well, I mean, it is also like super early in this day. So maybe I'll go get those done and we'll just continue this day in the next episode. Yeah, that actually I think won't be what we do. Because I, I was thinking to myself here, if we wait till tomorrow... This goat thing might go longer, and we might miss the head to the saloon for this dinner. So, yeah, I'll make the stuff off camera. I'll get back to my workshop and get that done. And the next time, we'll have uh, the food ready to go. And, uh, yeah, we'll hopefully finally get around to this. But until that time, uh, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, we'll have a good one.